Hello my crafty friends. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room. This is Sherry. I'm here today to do a flip through of the puppy journal I've been working on this week. It is this, um, this is pink, uh, pinkish color uh, behind in case it's coming through red. I saw that it was kind of coming through red on the camera at times. So uh, it's kind of a deep, not really super bright, but um, you know, a, just a pretty pink. And then I have a pretty tassel that we made together yesterday uh, on video and, and that's attached. It is removable. Uh, you can see that I have added Rick Rack here. It's bound with a three pamphlet stitch. I have the Rick Rack on the back. The cover is sewn around. Uh, so it's all sewn together. The base is Amazon packaging. It's the white Amazon packaging. So it's a little um, cushier than usually than the the brown paper packaging from Amazon, but anyway, both are cushy. I love both of them, <laughs> using both of them. So uh, anyway, as we open up, oh, you can see the closure here, uh, is some pretty black ribbon with white polka dots that matches the colors. There's blacks and greens and blues here in the cover. And let me just show you a top view. I've got some decorated paper clips, a little pom-pom, Fringe. I've got a hanging little charm that I had made and so let's get started on the inside of the journal uh, whoops that's the second page let's start on the first page here <laughs> so inside I used a couple of the cut aparts in this collection kit which was a Echo Park scrapbook paper kit called my dog in case you want to look for it on echopark.com and um, they are having a sale right now so if they still have it, you can get it at a sale price. But here's a couple of the cut aparts here. Well, this is the cut aparts. These two, well, let me see. No, these are journaling cards. I'm sorry. I have a bunch of journaling cards also, and I think that's what these are from. Really cute and, you know, great places to write or make tuck spots. These right here are little smash book journaling cards that I picked up a little had up at a store around here uh, not a thrift store it's a called pop shelf I got those at pop shelf okay so this is this when you see scrapbook paper like this this is cardstock and it's from the my dog collection kit there's no digitals or printed uh, anything printed in here everything's original so uh, this is a little file folder that I may I like to make these little file folders so I use one here as a little tuck spot and you can open up and write in here or you can add paper if you want, like lines or something. You could add writing paper in here. Anyway, um, it's got a little tab on it. And on the tab I have hanging um, from the stickers from the collection kit, scrapbook paper, I uh, made one of the little stickers into a charm. And that's right, hanging right here on a bulb pin. I did add a little eyelet right there, a little metal eyelet. And this a little cut apart says... Um, Fur mama. <laughs> fur mama, like, you know, talking about your little doggy fur baby. So, uh, and in here, in the tuck spot, I have a couple of my, this is a little journaling card that I had made a while ago. The back is an index card, and the front is a little picture from, um, I think it was from a catalog or a travel brochure, uh, or a travel catalog. Anyway, I just really like those pictures, so I made a bunch of them into journaling cards and then this is a postcard just a pretty postcard it says post a note there but it's and then you put a stamp there really cute I love those I love the color I think I actually got that one in happy mail then I have some uh, just some fun papers in here that can be writing papers or you can glue something down you can decorate whatever you want to do whatever you like to do in your journals so here's a decorated paper clip here with a um, tag and that I, you know, all the a lot of the I have a lot of handmade tags and journal cards in here, and this is some ribbon that I added here to decorate this side of the page. And it's just this was white on the back, but it's uh, this little um, kind of an accounting or a check deposit register uh, there on the other side. This is some computer stationery with a pretty uh, decorated uh, frame, and I folded it over and made a pocket here. This says, let's play from the collection kit, scrapbook paper. A tag made from a popcorn box. This is a journaling card made from a comic book. 
and uh, this is a journaling card from my journaling card collection. I love that one because it looks like ledger and it's pretty on the back. And those are kind of, uh, they're kind of, oh, this one's one I, oh, I cut this. This is, I think this was a scrapbook paper. I think this was one I made actually, now that I look at it closer. Um, remembering I made this one out of scrapbook paper because I like that ledger and I thought that was so cool. This is from a guest book. So you've got the pretty blue lines and then one of my sewn together strips of uh, my scrap paper, you know, scrap papers from, you know, my crafting. Here I've got a decorated paper clip with a journaling card. This one is made from a file folder. File folder scrap, I should say. Uh, we've got a pocket here on this scrap of paper. You can see the pretty decoration here. Pocket and a little uh, applique flower. A drilling card or a drilling card or space I made from a book page. You can see the book page is sewn around and got different pieces on there. And then this is a, a sampler, fabric sampler. So you've got this was packaging that I decorated and then added a few pieces of fabric here. So that can be taken apart or used as is, but it's just a fun little piece of ephemera that is tucked in there. These, it's just held on by a couple of small staples, so if you wanted to use those and re-do uh, that, use the fabric as, you know, to make clusters and then use the packaging and make a drilling spot, it's easily taken apart and you can repurpose it in any way you would like. And so here's a, a pretty, uh, this was a pretty little piece of ephemera that I had made, and I put it here as it sticks out over here a little bit as a tab. You see it has a pretty little flower and gem there and a little topper that sticks also with the tab, which I think is really pretty on this page. And then here's another fun paper. that um, the, the fun papers I've picked up at thrift stores. So this is uh, purple lines on here. It says unpaid bills right there. <laughs> so uh, I thought it was really interesting when I find stuff like that's really different like that and unique from thrift stores. I love putting those in my journals. And some pretty ribbon there that I added. I one of my handmade scrappy tags here on a decorated paper clip. This this page is um, Astrobrite's paper. Very pretty and nice paper. I've got the pom-pom fringe here on this page and also two pockets with little tabs. So these tabs or tags match the paper here. And I turned them over so that you would have the opposite side sticking out as a little contrast. This one has a, you know, a longer topper, and this one has a little bow topper on it. But just cute little tabs and pockets that I made from some scraps from this journal. Another one of the journaling cards that I made from that paper I like that I just talked about. And a decorated paper clip. And in fact, this may be the paper here. Uh, it's a piece of a pretty scrap of paper. Not from the kit, it's from another scrap of paper that I have and uh, it has these pretty flowers here on the bottom of the ledger. On this side is that pretty green. It's got a fold over here with uh, tickets used as a tab. Some pretty like onion skin type uh, typing paper. Some of the scrap of paper there with a ribbon trim. This is the center. In the center I put uh, a couple of buttons that match the journal. This one has is black with white polka dots just like the ribbon closure and then this one is a white one just two little tiny buttons there more ribbon trim here so we're on the back half uh want this uh, this paper with the ledger that i like so much and a piece of my you know one of my strips that i sewed together there as a tab or a decoration one of the stickers here from the collection kit it says, home is where the dog runs to greet you. It has a little puppy in a dog house there. Another um, journal card made from the file folder under a decorated paper clip. This is a, um, another, all the paper clips are decorated, so I'll, I'll stop saying that, but there's a paper clip here <laughs> with the Rolodex card that um, I made. I like to make these Rolodex cards too out of pretty scrapbook paper, so that's one that I made. And you can glue that down or do whatever you want. Put it down as a tuck spot. Use it as a journaling card. 
you know, whatever you want. Some of that fun paper. Uh, this is a flip up, flip down spot with, I added a little flower button here. And in the back pocket is a journaling card. This was also one that I made from pretty scrapbook paper. Uh, this page has, uh, in case you can't see it here, I didn't mention it on the back front half, but it does have some washi tape that I glued down there for extra reinforcement on this particular page. And it's folded up here as, uh, here's some reinforcement too on the pocket. And um, a little flower applique, sunflower applique there. In this pocket I have a book page uh, tag that I had made and just two pieces that I um, have some of these scraps that I cut up to uh, just put into journals so that you know whoever gets the journals can have fun with them like these two could even go together because you can see that I cut out some stars there and um, then you can see through the stars and see what's behind it so just fun pieces that you can do whatever you want with not what I'm you don't have to do what I'm saying I'm just telling you what I um, why I put them in there a little cluster here made with the, one of the puppy stickers so yeah that's one of the stickers and I just added it to that little pretty little cluster on that page that's the guest book paper and some ribbon on this side this is the computer stationery with that pretty frame a pocket here with a little sticker that says bad to the bone <laughs> a fun envelope that I made from this is from an index page uh, I love index pages from all books. I just, I love the columns of words and, uh, you know, just different things like that. So I think they're fun to use in your paper crafting. Decorated, uh, it's sewn together, as you can see here. This is um, scrapbook paper and just little pieces I had made there. Inside, oh, some more of those uh, drilling spots that I made from that paper that I said I like so much with the ledger on the one side. Those are in there for use to do whatever you want. You can round the corners on those or cut them up or write on them and glue them down, whatever you want. Um, some more little pieces that I cut up here. Like this could be a journaling spot. Here is there two here. Two with lines. And I love the color of these. The kind of a almost a yellowish beige with blue lines. And this is like a little bookmark or writing spot or whatever you want it to be a decoration. You know, anything like that. What you know, whatever you I'm sure you can think of a Maybe a million things more than I can, but <laughs> when you are crafting, this is a piece of ledger paper that I made into a journaling spot. Just cut it up and put a little acetate sticker there to decorate. So that is also in there. And here I have, this is a, a scrap like that I made into a fold over for this page. It's, it's um, sprayed over here with some... Uh, blue, some of my blue food coloring spray, and it's pretty scrapbook paper, and it's just clipped here. And then on this page, this is the uh, check register paper, and I have a this flower from a banner that I have, and I made it into a tuck spot there. And this is another file folder journaling card, and that is tucked in there. And uh, scrapbook paper here. This is the last page. I have a library pocket here that I had made uh, myself and of course it has a pocket and in the pocket it's a little uh, kind of booklet. It doesn't have pages or anything. It's just a little booklet that I made that can be written on or whatever and glued squares of scraps there on the cover. So that is tucked in there and then behind is also a pocket with a scrappy tag or a drawing card sewn around with some scraps on there so that is just tucked right behind and then here I have a piece of that file folder and you'll see this right here as a little uh, this is covering staples that are holding on paper that I have over on this side uh, behind this fold out this is a piece of file folder this is the uh, actual tab that was on the file folder so I just I had this piece and I decided to put it here as a fold out. It's hinged on with this paper here and it folds out nicely. As you can see, this is paper, not cardstock. And so um, that helps it to fold easier. And then on that, I have just some lined paper 
that can be written on or whatever. So that's like a little uh, note area back there. Here's the other um, drilling card or cut apart I was talking about that I put in as a pocket. It says Furry Friend. In this pocket I have, let's see, well I have a booklet here. This was a cut apart. I kept these two together. I had a video on this. I did a video not too long ago on using your cut apart, different ways to use your cut apart. So this was one I made during that video. The pages are sewn in here. And it's two cut aparts that I just folded and put some papers in that were scraps and used up some scraps and made a little booklet there. So that is in there also. So lots of writing space in here with the different, uh, so many different things to write on and paper pages. And uh, this is a little booklet that I used up some strips here and the, its base is in white cardstock. And so it's a fun little different kind of narrow, long narrow uh, journaling spot. I, find I had some fun making and using up some cardstock that way and some colorful scrapbook paper. And this is a little uh, bookmark here. It has a little topper, fabric topper, fabric ribbon, and just a pretty little piece probably from a garden book there. As you can see the little flower. And this is some embossed... Uh, uh, paper that I had or cardstock to put in and I put that in there. So that is the journal. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, this is removable. It's on a notebook ring. It's on a paper clip, which is on a paper clip that is just clipped there. And this just ties up. Uh, everything's sewn together. Uh, we did the cover together, so I showed you. Um, you didn't see the sewing, but I took a pause for the sewing and came back and showed you all this. So if you saw that video, uh, you had seen where I put the cover together. I have a little packet of goodies. I don't think I'll go through all of them, but you can see this. This is a coffee dyed envelope. Uh, I had a bunch of white envelopes and I coffee dyed a lot of them. <laughs> I think I still have some to coffee dye, but anyway, I have a ton of them coffee dyed already. So if you don't know, if you have a bunch of white envelopes from, you know, when you collect things from thrift stores and you don't know what to do with them, it's fun to dye them and then use them for different things. And look how cool that looks. This is a little sticker I put on here. And then I just filled it with some scraps and goodies from my craft room to use um, as you wish with your crafting uh, for whoever gets this journal. So that will come along with it. So I hope you enjoyed today's flip through. Stay tuned for my next journal. Uh, um, my next journal is going to be one that when I showed you the book covers, someone messaged me and said, hey, can you make a journal out of this cover? So uh, stay tuned to see what cover someone was interested in and what I do with it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.